Hi everybody, this is Viper Fox Studios and today we're doing another Mosaic Monday and we are going to create this pretty little design. All of the yarn and hook information for the hook that I am using today is all down in the description for those of you who are interested. And we're going to jump into this tutorial. I do want to mention that this is probably going to be my last one for 2020. So I picked something that I think can be used for all kinds of different projects, but also would make a great border option. So if you were doing a blanket and looking for a really interesting border, I think that this would definitely be a great border option for you. Really easy to convert over into a double border by following this tutorial. So we're going to jump in and get started. You're going to need to pick up two colors of yarn minimum and then grab your crochet hook. All of the recommended hook sizes are down below in the description, along with a link to the Etsy store for those of you who are interested and prefer the charts over the free tutorials. And of course, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you're not already because it does help me grow this channel and continue to put out the free patterns. Let's jump on in to the tutorial. We're going to begin by chaining in a multiple of 12 plus 4 at the end. So right here in front of you I have a chain of 28 so that's two multiples of 12 plus the four at the end. If you're going to be working this in the round, you're just going to chain in the multiple of 12. So you'll chain 12 over and over until you reach your desired size. And of course, down in the description, I do have some project ideas for you with starting chains already figured out whether you're working this flat or in the round. But for those of you doing in the round, it's really important that you just chain your multiple of 12 slip stitch to the first chain that you made in order to form a ring and then you begin working in that very first chain or very first stitch and for the rest of us since i'm going to be teaching this flat we're going to chain our multiple of 12 plus four at the end and then we're going to begin row one so you're going to get your starting chain ready and then come back to the video to move on to row one if you are experienced with mosaic crochet Row one and row two both are just the single crochets worked in the back loop for the repeat for those rows. So you can skip ahead and I've chained in um, color A. So keep that in mind. We're going to be doing color A to do our starting chain and row one will be in color A and then we'll be switching back and forth between color B and color A for the remainder of our project. So I'm beginning row one now. You, of course, can pause and come back to the video when you're ready for row one. So working flat for row one, we're going to be skipping this very first chain. We never count the loop that's on our hook. And we work here into the second chain. So skip one chain, come here into the next, and then we work under the V because this is our traditional single crochet at the start of our row. So we're just going to grab, pull up our loop, and finish out a traditional single crochet just like normal. Now the rest of this row we're going to be working in the back loop and for the remainder of the project. Your first and last stitch are always going to be the traditional single crochet. And then our single crochets work throughout the repeat are back loop only. So I've just picked up the loop here in the back and I'm going to grab, pull up my yarn, and grab and pull through two. So it's just like a normal single crochet. We're just picking up one loop. That is the only thing that is a little bit different. So again, I've picked up that back loop only and I do my single crochet. So that's the entire repeat for this row. We're gonna place a back loop only single crochet, which I'll be referring to as a single crochet throughout the rest of the tutorial. We're going to do one of those in each and every single stitch all the way down the rest of our row and then we'll meet up to do row number two. So you may pause here and come back when you are ready for the end of this row. I'll show you how we do the end. We are here at the end of row one and we have one stitch left as you can see right there one stitch. So this is another 
thing we're going to be doing all throughout the tutorial. The very last stitch in the row is the traditional single crochet. So we go under the V and then we finish out a normal single crochet from there. So I got a little bit tight, but just finish up that single crochet. And then we can chain up two and clip our yarn to bind off. So now we're going to be moving to row number two. And on row two, we are going to be switching over to color B. Row two is about to begin. We're going to be joining on this time with color B. So whatever you've chosen as your color B, you're going to get a slip knot ready. I just have it really loose right now. And we're going to identify the very first stitch in our row. So we're not turning our work. We're returning back to the start of the row. And as you can see here, we're looking for the V. So we are going to pay attention to this. This right here is a turning chain for the rest of our rows. It'll actually just be a chain one. And you'll see that there and you just need to scoot it down out of your way. You do not want to work into this. You want to make sure that you're identifying your first stitch. And then you go under the V because it is our first stitch in the row. And that is always going to be a traditional single crochet. So we join on now with color B. And tighten that down. So join that onto your hook. And we're going to pull up our loop. Now all we need to do is a chain one. This is how I start each and every row, and I'm only going to show this one time. So I like to grab the tail and working yarn and do the chain one to kind of lock that stitch in place. And then I allow the tail to fall back here out of our way. And we're going to go down here into the same stitch again and make sure we're working in our same stitch. So you get into that stitch right there and we finish out our traditional single crochet. Now we're going to begin the repeat for row number two and the repeat for row two is a back loop only single crochet. So we're doing our single crochet and we just pick up that back loop and we're going to do that all the way down this row. So we're going to place one single crochet working only in the back loop in each and every stitch. So you can pause here Meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number three. We're back and we are ready for row number three. Row three is going to begin by doing your join on. So you're going to join on in color A this time with your traditional single crochet in the first stitch. And now our repeat for row three is going to begin immediately. And that repeat begins by doing one of our double crochets. So this is a drop down double crochet. And the way that we do this is just like a normal double crochet, we're just going to identify the next stitch. And then we slide directly down and pick up the front loop. And I count this as two rows below, but if you look at it and you think it's a row below, you can look at it that way. But then we just grab and pull up our yarn. And then we grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two to finish out our double crochet. So that is how all of our double crochets are worked all throughout this project. So now we need to do, that's our beginning of our repeats, one double crochet. So now we need to do seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. So we just find the very next stitch. Always working there in that back loop. And we do our first single crochet. So there's number one. Here's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. And number seven. Now we will do one double crochet right here into the very next stitch. So we wrap our yarn, identify this next stitch. Slide directly down, picking up that front loop, 
and then we finish out our normal double crochet from there. Now we will do three single crochets to end our repeat. So we identify our very next stitch. Two, one. Two. And number three. And that ends the repeat for row number three. So we're going to recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here when we did one double crochet. We did seven single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets. So you're just going to start your repeat right back over doing your double crochet and continue on working that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We will meet back up at the end of row three and I will show you how you're going to work all of your row ends for the entire project. So we'll be back in just a moment. We're back and we're at the end of row three now. So I have just completed a repeat. There's the three single crochets that in that repeat and I have exactly two stitches left. And this is the same thing that you're going to find at the end of every row, you're going to have one, two stitches left. So the way that we work our row ends throughout this entire project is we are going to re restart our repeat <laughs> for one stitch. And then we know that our last stitch in the row is always the traditional single crochet. So for row three, the repeat starts out with a double crochet. So that's exactly what we're going to do right here in the second to last stitch. So every single row, you restart your repeat for that row for one stitch. So here we're doing a double crochet. So we identify our stitch, slide directly down, finding that front loop right there. So now we just finish out a double crochet like normal. And then we know a row very last stitch in the row is always our traditional single crochet going under the V and we just work that stitch. So very, very simple row ends. I won't be showing that every single time because every row end, just whatever your repeat starts with, that's what you do in your second to last stitch. And your last stitch in the row is always just like the first stitch, which is a traditional single crochet. So now we're going to move on to row number four. Row four begins now and we begin row four by joining on with color B and then the repeat for row four will begin immediately with one single crochet right here. Very next stitch. Now we will do one double crochet here into the very next. Five single crochets over the next five stitches. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. Now we will do one double crochet right here. Very next stitch. One single crochet here into the very next. One double crochet. One single crochet. And last but not least, one double crochet ends our repeat for this row. Now we're going to recap our repeat. So our repeat for row four began over here when we did one single crochet. Then we did one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, 
one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. So you're going to repeat that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row, and then we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number five. As a reminder, all of our row ends do have the two stitches left. We restart the repeat for one stitch, and then we do our traditional single crochet there in the very last stitch. So our repeat for row four starts with that single crochet, and then we do our traditional Row 5 begins now by joining on with color A, and we are going to start our repeat for row 5 immediately. And that repeat begins with one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. We will now do a total of one single crochets into the very next stitch. One double crochet here into the next. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. One. two, and three. One double crochet here into the very next stitch. One single crochet. One double crochet. And our repeat will end by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. Here's number one, number two, and number three. And that ends the repeat for row five. So row five, our repeat began over here when we did one double crochet one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets. So you're going to keep repeating that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row and then we'll be meeting back up when you are ready to move on to row number six. And that'll basically be our halfway point through this tutorial. Row six begins now, and row six is going to begin by joining on with color B this time, and then we'll begin our repeat for row six. And that repeat begins by doing one single crochet here into the very next stitch. One 
we'll now do one double crochet here into the next. One single crochet right here, very next stitch. One double crochet here into the very next stitch. One single crochet. One double crochet. one single crochet one double crochet and our repeat will end by doing four single crochets over these next four stitches here's number one number two, number three, and number four. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap that. Our repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, 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 and then we end with four single crochets. So you're going to start back over starting with that single crochet and keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. The easiest way I can tell you to handle this section right here, if you take a look at your work, you're working through this larger square. So there's a total of four double crochets and each is separated by a single crochet if that helps you kind of cheat a little bit on this one but we'll be back for row number seven in just a moment row seven starts now by joining on with color a this time and we're going to begin the repeat immediately by doing a double crochet right here into this very next stitch We will now do one single crochet into the very next stitch. One double crochet right here into the next stitch. Followed by a total of nine single crochets. So total nine single crochets over the next nine stitches and that will end our repeat. So we're going to start with our very first of the nine. So there's number one, number two, number three, number four, Number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. So our repeat ended with the ninth single crochet. So our repeat began over here when we did our first double crochet, followed by one single crochet, one double crochet, and then nine single crochets in your repeat. So you're just going to start back over and work that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row, and then we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number eight.
Row 8 begins now by joining on with color B this time. And we're going to begin our repeat for row 8 immediately. And that repeat begins with one single crochet worked here into the very next stitch. We will now do one double crochet into the very next stitch. Nine single crochets worked over these next nine stitches. One, number two, number three, number four, Number five, number six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we will end the repeat by doing one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets working across that section, and then we end the repeat with one double crochet. So you just start back over and repeat the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And as a reminder, the very end of your row, you will have two stitches left. You'll restart your repeat for one stitch, and then you will finish out with a traditional single crochet in that very last stitch of the row. So we'll be back in just a moment for row number nine. Row nine begins now by joining on with color A, and we begin the repeat for row nine immediately by doing a double crochet into this next stitch. nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We will now do one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. Followed by one single crochet right here into this next stitch and that ends our repeat for row number nine. So our repeat for row nine began over here when we did one double crochet nine single crochets, one double crochet, and then one single crochet. So you will just repeat that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row, and then we'll be back for row 10 in just a moment. Row 10 begins now by joining on with color B this time. A repeat for row 10 begins with five single crochets over these next five stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five. Now we're going to do one double crochet here into this next stitch. One single crochet right here into the very next. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. one single crochet and our repeat will end with one double crochet so let's recap our repeat our repeat began with five single crochets one double crochet one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet ends that repeat. So an easy way to look at this as you're going down your row would be do five single crochets and then you will have a total of four double crochets each separated by a single crochet. So that should hopefully help you zoom on down the rest of this row. We'll be back for row number 11 in just a moment. Row 11 begins by joining on with color A. Our repeat for row 11 begins with a double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet, and then our repeat will end by doing a total of five single crochets over the next five stitches. Here's one, two, three. four, and five. And that ends the repeat. For row 11, our repeat began over here with one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and then it ends with five single crochets. So just start your repeat over and keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. Row 12 begins by joining on with color B, and our repeat for row 12 begins with one single crochet right here into this very next stitch. We will now do one double crochet into the very next stitch, tail all the way. one single crochet right here one double crochet
one single crochet one double crochet five single crochets over the next five stitches one two three four and five then we will end our repeat for row 12 with one double crochet Our recap for row 12 repeat begins over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, five single crochets, and it ends with one double crochet. So you're going to start back over and finish up the rest of your row, starting back with your single crochet next and keep working that same set of stitches on down. So row 13 begins now, and that begins by joining on with color A. Row 13 is our finishing row, our final row for this design. So we begin by doing one double crochet here into the very next stitch. We will now do three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. One double crochet right here, very next stitch. Followed by seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row 13 began over here when we did a total of a one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and seven single crochets. So pretty easy repeat to remember. If you take a look at what you're doing, you're framing out and finishing up so these designs are very much outlined completely and they really pop out this way. So from here, you're going to start your repeat over and begin working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. So that ends the repeat. So our work will be repeated if we're wanting to go up for additional repeats of this same design. So this is one of them. So if you want to have this over and over for a larger project, you can repeat in this video. You're going to go back to rows 2 and repeat rows 2 through 13 over and over as many times as you need to for your desired size. So as always, I truly appreciate you stopping by and watching this tutorial. I love seeing your pictures where you tag on Instagram using hashtag FiberFoxStudio so I can see your work and what you turned this pretty design into or any of them. Until next time, leave a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And until next time, bye for now.